Hey everybody, well it's Dusty Tucker. I did make it out to the range today. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and apologize right away because it is really windy out here and if you guys can't hear me, uh, I don't know, it's supposed to rain tomorrow and the next day after that it's supposed to rain too. So I'm gonna try and do something today for you guys. All right? so I'm just out here at the 25 yard mark at the range and I got something special to uh, show you guys today, so stay tuned. Alright you guys, as you can tell it is very windy here, it's almost blown over my camera stand. But uh, So I came out to the range today, you guys have seen this before, this is my Colt Police Positive, chambered in 38 Smith & Wesson, and I'm just going to be shooting this today along with uh, something else, so stay tuned. It's been something I Let's just say it's something that I've wanted for a long time, and I'll show you what it shoots. It shoots 45 Colt. So if you stay tuned, we'll get to that eventually, all right? So it shoots for today. Okay, so we're at the 10 yard line. I got my target behind me, the Silhouette one, and I wish I could get more of them, but uh, that was the last one my dad gave to me. Those are for RCMP training. So my last target, anyways. So we're at 10 yards and I'm shooting the Smith & Wesson 38 so this is just a uh, 125 grain projectile with 2.1 grains of tight group and that's all I'm shooting so let's, let's see what we can do might get a better angle here this angle kind of sucks I'm trying to get the target and me in one shot let's see if I can do this all right kind of standing at an angle but let's see if you guys can see this all right let's go for Go for headshots. I think that was six. Yeah, that was six. Uh, let's go see how we did. I uh, personally think that was actually pretty good considering the shitty weather. So I gotta dismount this thing and let's go take a look. So yeah, once again, I'm only shooting at 10 yards. Cameras make it look farther than that, but pretty good group. I got one flyer here, probably because of the wind or I jerked the trigger, but all in all, that's not bad for a little tiny, <laughs> 38 Smith & Wesson. So let's load up and shoot again. All right, I got the previous holes taped up. Got her loaded up again with the same uh, projectiles. So now this time I'm gonna shoot double action instead of single action. And I'm gonna aim for the chest or center mass this time. Tell you right now <laughs> not nearly as good as I was shooting single action let's go take a look see once again only 10 yards center of mass okay so I got one two in the white and then I got one two three four in the black so I mean not terrible but I'm also not used to shooting this thing double action it's got a pretty stiff trigger pull and uh, for any of you guys that happen to know what speed loader I need for this little guy here, if you can comment below, that'd be greatly appreciated because I don't know which uh, speed loader I need for it. I tried to do some research and uh, lots of them were on the 38 Special, not the 38 Smith & Wesson. I'm not sure if that makes a difference or not, but if you could let me know if you know about it, that'd be great. So I'm gonna load up and uh, dump some more. All right, so we're gonna back it up to 15 yards and shoot single action and see what we can do. Once again, I apologize for the noise. It's very windy out here. So if you got your volume turned up, that might suck a little bit. I'm only gonna shoot single action. So, and we're at 15 yards. Center of mass, try it.
me. All right, let's go up and see how we did. I taped up the old ones there, so. I can't even, oh yeah, I got a couple. Not bad. Okay, so we got two in the white, one just breaking the white, one over here on the black, and then one down here and one up there. So I did a better group farther away in single action than I did close up in double action. So let's load up and move it back to 20. Let's see how we can do. All right, got it taped up. Let's go to 20 yards. Let's see if I can uh, get them both in here. All right, so yeah, we're back at 20 yards. Same ammunition, single action. It's pretty windy, so I hope I can even hit it. All right, let's give her a go. dislodge this thing and see how we did. Probably pretty bad considering. All right, 20 yards. Oh yeah, they're kind of all over the place. I mean, they're still hitting. This was my first shot. I seen it right away as I knew it was pretty bad. Um, one, two, three, four, five, and then somehow I got two right beside each other in the white. So you know what? Two hits from the white at 20 yards isn't bad. But let's go max here. I'm gonna go back it up to 25 yards. This is the farthest. The farthest I'm allowed to shoot at this range, so let's try that. Alright again, I apologize for the wind noise. So we're back here at 25 yards, which is the farthest that I'm allowed to shoot at this pistol range. Same blow as I've been shooting. got one of them out of the uh, kill zone would you call it that kill zone okay so we got looks like they're dropping a bunch um, I got one two three four five and then way out in the shoulder six so that's that's pushing my limits with this wind and a little bullet so now it's time to show you guys big surprise all right you guys here's the big surprise I've wanted one of these for a very long time and it shoots 45 Colt like I showed before here she is look at this beautiful beautiful piece I got her loaded up with um, round nose projectiles that I made earlier today it's just uh, what is it? I can't even remember. 130 grain round nose projectiles. And I think I'm just shooting trail boss. Sorry, I just keep, I'm not used to the action of this thing yet. It's a, it's a very gorgeous 
piece. Um, I purchased it from a guy and he must have left it in the holster in a wet condition because you can see that it completely took off the bluing on that cylinder. So I wasn't too happy about that, but I got it for a really good deal. So I'm not even gonna complain about that. So we're gonna shoot this here at 10 yards. And this is just a single action revolver. Let's give this a whirl. I'm just holding center of mass. go check it out these are my uh, first 20 rounds that I've been shooting I shot it a little earlier today just to make sure that it functioned properly uh, okay so we got one up here and then we got the four down here so not bad I don't want to do a review on this gun yet because I haven't owned it long enough so I might do a little table talk type thing on it but uh and i don't want to dro drop these empty casings out on the ground here because there's so much brass on this ground ah, screw it i'll do it for you guys so first notch oh, if i was tipping it upside down it would have worked better that's how the shells eject pretty sweet hey eh? oh i've wanted one of these for such a long time i'm so pumped to shoot it you have to kind of half cock it and then you can activate the uh, this pin here, or this, and then it comes out, comes back. You can operate this thing with one hand, basically. It's pretty sweet, you guys. I'm so pumped to shoot it. I'll load it up and shoot it again. All right, so we got her loaded up again with the 230 grain round nose projectiles. Here, I'll just show you guys. There's a little button underneath that you can keep, that you can push. This little guy right here, if you push him up, the ejector doesn't come out when you open the cylinder. So, just want to show you guys what I'm shooting today. Hold on a sec. Not that anyone really cares, but this is just a 230 grain round nose projectile with uh, 5.6 grains of trail boss, I think. So let's go ahead and uh, shoot some more, shall we? I'll get a side view this time. How's that? I'll get nice and close for y'all. I also have hearing plugs in this time. I forgot to put them in. <laughs> this also has a very, very stiff trigger. Once again, I think this would work better with Schofield cartridges, which is a, what I'm probably going to get. I'm probably going to load that same projectile in a and the Schofield cartridge. Let's go see how we did. It has a very stiff trigger pull on this thing, so it's gonna take some getting used to. So I got one up here, down there, two, and then three, four, five. Let's load it up and shoot it again. All right, so we got it loaded up again. I'm gonna shoot for the head this time and see if I can hit it. shoots a little bit low. Maybe not. It's probably just me. Maybe it's the ammo. Maybe I gotta figure out something different for this for this ammunition. 